I come here today to bring all my affection, to bring all my divine consciousness to each one of you. The time is for analysis. The moment is one of deep connection. Their hearts are the spiritual center of their bodies. It absorbs everything you think, say, feel, do, and accumulates each feeling, in a small space, and stores this throughout many eras. There is a size for every closet. Each closet contains a feeling. So when you emanate a feeling excessively, that closet overflows and the feelings become scattered, causing great dirt in your heart. He is no longer that tidy, balanced, clean heart. Everything gets complicated, because it's as if by magic, all the other closets also tend to overflow. Then your heart becomes chaos, a total imbalance. The consequence of this chaos are feelings of sadness, depression, lack of love, lack of faith, lack of self-love. Because your heart can no longer put anything in its place. Because everything is mixed and spread out. The vast majority of you have this heart. Through the heart, connections are also made with beings of light. The connection effectively happens through your light, but it is your heart that gives the initial command, so that everything happens. So how, with a full, messy heart, do connections happen? They don't happen. So you keep complaining, yelling, that you can't connect with anyone. They can't hear anyone, they can't see anyone and the despair increases even more. Your heart was made to be a tidy and organized room. And this way, you can be, see, talk, hear, with whoever you want. So understand this, you love us, you seek our help, but you cannot receive the answers. Why? Because your heart is full, the closet that receives the answers is lost in the middle of that mess. So like our message, it will arrive in the closet right? We always respond. We never leave a request without a response. But you don't hear the answer, because the answer gets lost in the clutter. So for you to effectively begin to have contact, to have vision, to have the feeling of contact with beings of light, you must first tidy up your house. Cleanse your hearts of anger, resentment, hurt, hatred, revolt, pain. Feelings always caused by others. The maxim is always the same forgive and ask for forgiveness. But it has to be that sincere forgiveness, that forgiveness that will cause a transformation in your heart. It's not enough to just say I forgive you. You can apply the test to yourself. You forgave. Wait a day or two and think about that person, or try to find them in some way. What do you feel? If you still look at that person, and the scene comes back to you, you can even, out of politeness, maintain that theater of your forgiveness, but deep down, you haven't forgiven. Redo the entire process. You will only have forgiven when you look at that person and feel nothing. You don't need to love her, you can't relieve the situation that caused those feelings. If you can look at the person, even talk to them and simply be a person who doesn't bring you anything, you've done it. And I can guarantee you that a good part of that mess, which was in your heart, is gone. Your heart is now able to breathe a little. But the other part is still missing, which is asking for forgiveness from those you hurt. But that request for forgiveness, sincere, honest, showing that person that you analyzed what you did and understood that you were wrong, that you couldn't have done that. This is not humiliating yourself, this is being fair, open ready to finish cleaning your heart. If that other person is reluctant to forgive you, it doesn't matter to you. That's where the problem lies with her. You did your part. You asked for forgiveness and asked deeply. So I can tell you that another big part of the dirt in your heart has gone. And then the other feelings, which are still causing that mess, are feelings that you harbor on a daily basis. And that you need to stop them, like judgment, Criticism, Gossip Each person has their own path, if the other makes a mistake, from their point of view, it is their mistake, not yours. Why criticize him, why judge him, why condemn him? Have you not done the same thing at any point in your other lives? You don't know, because you don't remember. So what justification would you have for judging him, for commenting on it? 
not even the beings of light, who today have already transmuted their entire past of errors, condemn anyone. How can you, with your back so dirty from the wrong things you have done throughout the life of your soul, want to have the morals to condemn and judge someone? It's the other person's problem, not yours. Everyone has their own path. Everyone chooses and reaps their journey. It's not you criticizing, that will help you. You just created a problem, because this criticism you made of him, you will reap. And you may face the same problem in the future and be criticized. So start analyzing your daily actions, your daily feelings, the harshness in the voice, the rude return, the constant complaining about everything. Everything you sow, you reap. It doesn't matter if it's at the same time or a little later, you will reap. So correct your actions, correct your feelings, so that that heart keeps everything, each one in its closet, and the floor is shiny and clean, without a speck of dirt out of place. When this happens, I guarantee you, you will contact whoever you want and you will receive the answer, because your heart will be clean, organized, ready to receive the light of any being. We have many ways to respond to you. Many are waiting for words to be heard. The answers may even come from another person. A sentence in a book, a song that suddenly starts playing, something unexpected that happens. Don't limit yourself, the answer could come in any way. So it's not because you don't listen that the answer didn't come. You simply didn't pay attention, he stood still, waiting for the answer to his ear and that, very few people have that ability. So open your heart, open the door of this heart, organized and clean, and the answer will enter, it can even be a sensation. So be attentive, open, and receptive. Don't put up obstacles, don't make decrees you won't achieve anything. Start cleaning your hearts deeply. And you will see, as little by little, every question or request that you make will be answered or answered. If we understand so, that will be good for you. Requests full of ego are most of the time not met. Always think about yourself and the whole. These are the wisdom points. These are the points of growth and evolution. How do you know if your heart is dirty and disorganized? All you need to do is ask yourself, what feelings do I emanate today? And that feeling that you discover, which has a very great intensity, has certainly disorganized your heart. Then start cleaning. Start tidying up. Many beings of light often say that they connect to you through the heart. And this is the purest truth, because they have extremely organized and enlightened hearts, and the connection is always through the heart. So, put your hearts in order, clean, empty, do an internal cleaning and you will see how easy it will be to hear any response. Inside your heart, there are some closets, which are in higher places, which do not allow themselves to be contaminated by this mess. In these closets, you put us. I have a closet, in each of you, because I am the Christ of this planet. Realize then, that I can help you clean up this dirt, because I am already there, inside your heart. Ask for my help, and I will certainly be happy to help you clean your heart.